Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. And don't just sit there, tiddlywinks. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? We're going to make a big mess. Do you like making a mess? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Rachel. Oh, that's the way. Into strips. Lots of strips. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Rebecca. Yes, with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. Hello, sweet cheeks. Come on, dude. Wow, what a mess. <laughs> it is. It's a fun mess. <laughs> Looks like you've had a bird in here and there are feathers all over the place. Feathers? The very one. Well, now Rebecca's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a cockatoo? Good idea. <laughs> and we can perch ourselves over by the chairs. So, what are you going to do with all these bits of paper? Well, we're going to make something out of paper mashy with Rebecca. Oh, great. So, what is it going to be exactly? Oh, well, I don't know. We're just going to make a wonderful, gorgeous mess. And out of the mess will come... Well, who knows? After all, some of the greatest inventions have been discovered by accident. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be making a mess today. I'm going to be doing something with great precision. Oh, and what precisely are you going to do? I'm going to be showing my class how to make a beautiful, wonderful, scrumptious painting. With this. Oh, that looks interesting. What is it? It's a cockatoo. Oh, a cockatoo too, <laughs> just like Claude. That's right. But it's all black and white with numbers all over it. Oh, yes. That's because I'm going to be showing the class how to paint by numbers. You see, each of these numbers is a colour. Number one, that's yellow. I see. Number two, that's red. You know, I'd better get off to school. There's so much to get ready. Oh, look at poor Claude. <laughs> wow. Oh, you look brilliantly feathered, Claude. Oh, he looks amazing. Well done, you guys. <laughs> oh, my very own feather. Oh, well, I better not wear it like this to school. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Bye. See you later. Ooh. Come on, Mickey John. <laughs> Remember, some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. On my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! He's on his way to work today Loving his way and it is our way Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way, up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You show me the way I know. Here I am. 
Now what? Thanks. I need to put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. Hello there. Oh, Dr Juno, what are you doing here? Well, I've come to see the headmaster. We both go to the same evening art class. Oh, arty. <laughs> well, we've sort of become buddies. I wanted to show him some of the paintings I'd be doing at home. Oh, well, I'd love to see your paintings. Oh, would you? Yes. Uh, I'm a bit of an artist too, you know. Oh. This is one of a sunset over the Fingal. Oh, it's very good. Interesting colours. I wanted to capture the way the setting sun changes the colour of everything against the sky. Oh, and in this one... Oh, very impressive. Oh, thank you. My artwork's not quite of your sort. Oh? No, no, I'm more of the school of a tree looking like, well, a tree. For example, here's my picture of a cockatoo with numbers. Now, the children will use the numbers to help get their colours exactly right. Oh, so their pictures will look like yours? Exactly. Oh, I do hope to inspire the children with their artwork. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, yes. Van Gogh, Picasso, Mickey John. Oh, well, right. Um, well, I'd better go and show Edgar my paintings. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know Mr Grant's name was Edgar. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Well, I hope so. Bye, Dr Juno. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy the painting. <sighs> I wonder how my little cockatoo's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings, lead it on. Who knows what we're making, but we're just letting our creative juices flow. Uh -huh. Now pop that in and get nice and gooey. Some paper granny money. I wonder if your dad's being as creative today as we are, Rebecca. I love you, Daddy. Right, class, we're going to start the day with some quick counting, starting with me. So when I point you out, call out the next number. Up to ten and back down again. Quickly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah, oh, that was really good. Well done, everyone. Well, you're counting certainly up to scratch. Now it's time to get down to some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. To count and teaching to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. In a dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew, answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Joy when I go to school in the morning. Right, everyone, there's the bell. Now, after lunch, we're going to have an art class, and I'm going to teach you all how to create your very own piece of art. So, see you after lunch. Right, I'm going to sort these paints out. <laughs> right. Hmm. Number one, yellow. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, hi, Tina. What are you up to? Oh, well, I've just brought some children back to school in my taxi. They'd been to the dentist, so I thought I'd just pop in and see what you get up to in your lunch break. Oh, Tina, this is your lucky day. 
Behold, art in the making. Really? I'm painting a cockatoo. Oh, fantastic. Two. Red. You see, I've marked the numbers on the pictures and I've marked the numbers on the paint pots as well. That's really fascinating, Mickey John. But um, I really ought to be back at work by now. Oh, can't you stay a bit longer? I haven't finished the painting yet. Oh, sorry, but um, it was wonderful to watch an artist at work. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, well. Hmm. Now, what number next? <laughs> ah, I wonder how my little bird is getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, look, my darlings. Do you see the birds? Yeah. Oh, look at that wee one over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the beautiful colours. What colours can you see? Red. Yellow feathers, too, do you see? And blue. Oh, blue. They're called cockatoos. I bet your dad would love to hear all about these birds later, Rebecca. Yeah. What are you doing now, Daddy? And uh, number six, that's blue. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh look, what a mess! Oh help! Oh no, look at my beautiful, perfect cockatoo! Oh, if the children can't see how I painted the cockatoo by numbers, how are they going to know what to do? I've been working hard to paint a beautiful, perfect picture, and now it's a mess! What happened? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. The children were having great fun ripping up newspapers and making a mess. Then they just clawed as a cockatoo. He looked brilliant. I showed Granny Murray my drawing of a cockatoo and explained how I was going to show the children how to paint by numbers. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno popped into school to see the headmaster. She showed me the painting she had done. They were brilliant, but very different from my cockatoo. At nine o'clock, the children practiced their counting. At 12 o'clock, I told the children I would give them an art lesson later and decided to organise my paints and get some painting done. Tina popped in to see me and I showed her how I was creating a painting by numbers work of art. At one o'clock, I realised I would have to hurry to get my painting finished in time for afternoon school, but I spilled some paint and now my painting is ruined. How can I teach the children about painting when my painting is such a mess? Now remember, some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Of course. I spilled blue and yellow paint on my painting and I created green paint. The children will be far more fascinated in that than in my cockatoo paint by numbers. Ah, I'm going to discover how many other colours I can make by mixing paint and it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, we sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, look at these. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be a very colourful cock too, isn't it? Oh, yes. This is gonna be a work of art. Yeah. Now, that's what I call a real bird of paradise. The children have done a great job of painting those feathers. <laughs> I wonder what my little Rebecca would make of this. This is my favourite thing, Granny Murray. Is it, my darling? Well, look what we've done. Out of all that wonderful mess, we've made some beautiful cockatoo hats. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Polly. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> oh, I think your dad would be proud to see what we've done, eh, Rebecca? He'll be here to pick you up soon. Mickey 
John, come away. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, yes. you bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'd better be off me. Off we go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round. Sitting down! <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a cockatoo because we had been ripping up lots of paper and Mickey John thought it looked a bit like feathers. Mickey John showed me a drawing he had done of a cockatoo too. It was black and white and covered in numbers. Mickey John told me each number matched a colour and he was going to teach the children how to paint the perfect picture by numbers. Later on, the children and I had great fun making messy paper mashy with all the newspaper we had ripped up. We stuck it on some balloons. Then we went to the park to meet the cockatoos and had great fun pretending that we were cockatoos. When Mickey John collected Rebecca, he told me that he had remembered what I told him, that some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. He said it had saved the day. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Sean and we've got Rachel. Then don't just sit there, Pickles. Let's wind yourself over to the shelves. <laughs> what do you see? That's a good girl. Oh, look! Wind it up, wind it up. Fizz along, don't stop. <laughs> oh, oh, look, it's her lights up. Catch, see who wins. One, two, three, go! Oh! <laughs> we came back, guys. Oh. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rebecca <laughs> with Mickey John. Hello there. Hello, Mickey John. Oh, wow, wind-up ties. Oh, I've always loved these. I'm always <laughs> borrowing your wind-up frog to play with, aren't I, Bex? <laughs> oh, Dad's here, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, this one looks amazing. <laughs> oh, do you like it? <laughs> but now Rebecca's here, we'll do something new. Why don't we dress Claude up as a wind-up butterfly? <laughs> there you go, Sean, my darling. You dress up Claude for Granny Murray. <laughs> and we can wind ourselves over to the chairs. Oh, oh. I am a clockwork teacher. Take me to Claudica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love wind-up toys. In fact, I love everything that winds up. Huh? Toys, egg timers, clocks. They're all so fascinating. Oh, well, uh, I suppose. What are you doing? I'm just trying to get it open so I can see all the bits inside. Oh, dear. Well, I have a golden rule. Don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Well, yeah, but... No, so... no. When I was young, I had a clockwork train and you would wind it up and it would go round and round and round till it wound down. My brother Ben took it apart, then he couldn't get it back together and it never worked again. Well, that's me told. Oh, looks like Claude's ready for us to wind him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think we'll wind you up just yet, Claude. No, he might fly straight out the window. Oh, well, what's that, Rebecca? What's this? That's for you. Oh, my very own wind-up toy. Oh, that's <laughs> Thanks, lovely. sweetheart. <laughs> oh, have fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on, oh. you. Out the door. 
Now remember, don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a mouse! Oh, 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 it's a mouse! A mouse. Oh, oh. Hello, Mickey John. Have you um, seen my mouse? My. Clockwork mouse. Oh, a clockwork mouse. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I stopped in at Granny Murray's earlier on. She told me all about how you were planning to teach the kids about things you can wind up. <laughs> uh, well, you certainly wound me up. <laughs> can I borrow this to show to my class? Oh, sure you can. Oh, great. Oh, the children would love to know how things like this work. I think it's fascinating. Yeah, can you show me how your stick works? No. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, when I need to use it, I unclip it like that. Ta -da! And hey. when I'm done, fold it up. It's like magic. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> All right, mate. Got to get back to the market stall. See you later. Cheerio. Ah. 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 I've got two clockwork toys now. I've got uh, Rebecca's penguin and Rudy's mouse. <laughs> I hope things are going like clockwork for you, Rebecca. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle. It's all the clocks, Rebecca. Do you like that big grandfather clock there? Yeah. Me too. Come on, my darling. Hello there. I'm in to collect the clock I brought in for the pair. Is it ready? Yes, I'll get it for you. Oh, fantastic. There you are. That's £20, please. Thank you. Look, Rebecca, you can see all the workings of the clock. I think your dad would like to show this to his class, wouldn't he? Yeah. Are you working hard, Daddy? Oh, goodness, there's the bell. Oh. Morning, everyone. Right, now, we've got a lot to get through today. But first, I want you to think about all the different things that have springs in them to help make them work. This tape measure has a spring in it, and it rolls out, and then you can measure something, and then it goes back in. Oh! <laughs> now, I expect some of you have a wind-up toy like this mouse at home. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. And, uh, hands up who's got an alarm clock? Haha, <laughs> me too. I wind up this alarm clock every night to make sure I'm not late for school. <laughs> oh! oh! Sorry. Thanks. Now, how do all these things work? Well, we're going to find out later on. But first, we're going to get down to some hard work. Oh, 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 with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. Learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching, 
to count and teach him to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. All right, Mickey John. Tina, oh, what have we got there? Well, I've just picked up Granny Murray and Rebecca from the clock shop. And Granny Murray said, since you always like to find out how things work, you might be interested in her glass clock. Ooh. Oh, it's amazing. You can really see how the clockwork uh, works the clock. <laughs> exactly. This clock is a miracle of engineering. You know, when you wind it up, you actually tighten the main spring coil. Huh? And it stores up loads of energy. And then that energy is slowly released and moves through a series of cogwheels which makes the hands on the clock go round. It's simple, really. Thanks for explaining all that to me, Tina, and uh, thanks to Granny Murray as well. Ta-ta! <sighs> what a fantastic clock! <laughs> I wonder what Rebecca and Granny Murray are up to now. <laughs> Let's see how many clocks we can spot from here, Rebecca. It is over there, clever girl. And another one away down there, do you see? Right down there. And there's one over there. Well, I'm glad your dad's not here. He'd be taking them all to pieces. <laughs> what are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, how does it do that? I must find out. Oh, a quick look won't hurt. spring has popped out. <laughs> I always wondered what that looked like. Oh, what's this? This is interesting. Oh, <laughs> there's a bigger one. <laughs> oh, all these things have come out of Granny Murray's clock. Oh no, what have I done? It's hopeless. I've broken Granny Murray's clock. How did I manage that? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were playing with some fantastic wind-up toys. So the children dressed Claude up as a wind-up butterfly. I tried to take a wind-up toy to bits to see how it worked. But Granny Murray wouldn't let me. At eight o'clock, I got to work and Rudy played a trick on me. He scared me with a clockwork mouse. It really wound me up. But he let me borrow it to use in my class. At nine o'clock the bell went and my class arrived. I showed them all sorts of things that have springs inside them to make them work. And then at 12 o'clock Tina brought me Granny Murray's special see-through clock. Tina explained how the clock works, but I didn't understand. At one o'clock the clock chimed. It was lovely. I wanted to see how it worked. So I looked inside and pieces fell out. I've broken Granny Murray's special clock. What am I going to do? Now remember, don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Well, I've learned my lesson. I won't fiddle anymore. But that won't get Granny Murray's clock fixed. Hmm. I need to find someone who knows how clocks work. <gasps> Tina knows about clocks. <laughs> I'll give it a ring. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime 
I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it, I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest way of friends, he will get there in the end, because he knows what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Some of you have been asking how a clock works. To be honest, I don't really know. But I know someone who does. Take it away, Tina. <laughs> Thanks, Nicky John. <laughs> OK, now this is a wind-up clock, which means that to make it work, we wind it up using this key here. Turning this key tightens this spring just here, and the spring coils up. Oh, like a snake. <laughs> Sorry, Tina. Slowly, the spring uncoils and loosens, which makes those cogwheels here turn the hands of the clock so that we can tell the time. Hey! So that's how a clock works. Brilliant, Tina! Oh, I can't wait to tell you how a clock works, Rebecca. I wonder what you're getting up to, darling. That's us. What do you think? <laughs> Hickory dickory. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck. One. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory. <laughs> Good kiddo. Oh, we'd better not let your dad see this clock. He's scared of mice, isn't he? <laughs> I wish I was with your daddy. <laughs> John, come away. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off, eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a wind-up butterfly because we were playing with wind-up toys when Mickey John dropped off Rebecca. Mickey John loves things that wind up. He said he was doing a class about them today and I told him off for trying to take the wind-up toy to bits to see how it worked. Then Rebecca and I went to the clock shop. There were so many clocks ticking and chiming. Bong! Bong! <laughs> we picked up my special see-through clock that had been in for repairs and I thought Mickey John would like to show it to his class. At lunchtime, we sat in the park and counted all the clocks we could see. They all struck one. Back at home, we made our own paper clock with a mouse running up it. We had a good giggle singing, hickory dickory dock. When Mickey John came to pick up Rebecca, he said he'd learnt his lesson. Don't fiddle with what you don't understand. Oh, I'm not fiddling with my clock. I'm winding it up. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Hope and Callie. Don't just sit there, poppets. Let's get the toys out, that's the way. Oh, wow. And I would eat them for my dinner. No, 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 said the king. Why don't you come for a banquet at our castle? <gasps> That'll be far tastier.
easier than us, eh? Well, we've got Hope here, and we've got Callie, but someone's missing from Granny's house today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny's today? Ah, uh, it's Rebecca and Mickey John. <laughs> Hello there. Mickey John. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Doing it by yourself. Come and join in the fun, Rebecca. What's going on? Well, the children are playing with the wee people and making up stories about kings and queens. That's a fantastic idea, Granny Murray. That's just what I'm going to do with my class at school today. Make up stories about kings and queens. Oh, you coffee cat. <laughs> Here, that's a good idea. Why don't you dress Claude up as a queen, Snowflakes? Oh, let's have a wee sit down. How about this for a story? There's a king called Peter and a queen called Jasmine, and they both live in space. Space? Yeah, on a meteorite going three trillion miles an hour. Woof. There's no food there, and they both have two long sticky up antennae that spin round like yo-yos, and they only eat Paparazicals. <gasps> Paparazicals? Queen Jasmine has three gigantic crowns. Oh, I'm a bit lost. Well, so were the king and queen, because their map was made of banana and a monkey ate it. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not really following your story. No? You see, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Mm, I see. And I can picture where Claude should be now. <laughs> On a throne. <laughs> You look great, Claude. Uh, I mean, Your Highness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? My own little king to take to work with me. You want a hug for Daddy? Ah, oh. oh, lovely. Well, I better be getting to school. Have fun with your stories. <laughs> now remember, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock now. Splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, hurry, hurry. Put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. Rebecca's king would make a great character in the story. I'm the dancing king, and anyone who messes with me will have to dance the way I dance. What do you have to say to that? Mickey John. Oh! Oh! Hi, Rudy. I'm uh, just making up a story for my class. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. I just brought back your audio tape, though. Oliver Twist is brilliant. Oh, yes, it's one of my favourite stories, too. That Charles Dickens is a brilliant author. He really brings the characters to life, and you can really picture them. I like Fagin. Oliver, my dear, you can trust old Fagin. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like stories, why don't you come back later? I'm making up a story with my class today, and then maybe you could tell it to Jack tonight? Sounds brilliant. I'll get Toby to look after the stall for a bit and pop back later. See ya. <laughs> I love making up stories. I wonder what stories Rebecca's making up with Granny Murray. Do you want to sit on the throne? Come on then, good girl. <gasps> Wait till you meet the beautiful Princess Rebecca. <laughs> if only your dad could see you now, eh? <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. 
Come along, let's have you. Today, we're going to be making up kings and queens stories. So I want you all to draw characters that you might find in that kind of story, such as uh, kings or queens, princes or princesses, or soldier guards. Now then, let's have a look at what you've done. That's fantastic. Is that your knight, is it? He looks very brave and, uh, oh, and a little princess there as well. Right then, who do we have here? A queen. She's very tall and skinny, isn't she? I think that's a good idea for a story, isn't it? A tall, skinny queen, I like that. Now, what have we got here? A knight, yes, yes. Looks like he's a guard of the castle, doesn't he? These pictures are going to make an absolutely fantastic story, and I'll tell it to you later, but there's lots of schoolwork I have to get through first. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. To count and teach him to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. In a dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew, answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look and mark their books. The good ones get a smiley. Joy when I go to school in the morning. All alone. Hi, Raymond. What are you doing here? Waiting for Tina to give me a lift to work. She's bringing back some of the children from swimming lessons in her taxi. Does that mean you've got a moment? I need some help to scan the kids' pictures into the computer to make up a story. Lead me to it. Come on, then. OK, Raimondo. I'll put the pictures in the scanner. You work the keyboard and check them on the monitor. It's just like putting on a show. Go for it, Mickey Joy. Oh, the king! I'm very, very busy right now. I need my royal crown and a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Here we go. Oh, the queen! My husband and I enjoy skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, the prince. Um, yo, dude, where's the party? <laughs> Oh, that's going to give me so many great ideas for the story. Oh, <laughs> I'm not interrupting, am I? Ah, there you are, love. Shall we go? Well, I think so. You don't want to miss your train, eh? No, no quite. I hope the story is fab. Got to go. <laughs> I wonder what the story will be. I wonder how Rebecca would make up a story. Love to eat jelly. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's eat some jelly. That's the way. I bet your dad wishes he was eating jelly on a plate. <laughs> There was once this king and this queen, right? And uh, the king was big and covered in gold, and the queen was little and uh, covered in silver. <laughs> Great characters. Oh, hi, Rudy. I'm just thinking about who's in my king and queen story. You don't mind if I record it for Jack, do you? Not at all. Make yourself comfortable. Now, what are the characters in my story like? The king had a big fat tummy, 
and the Queen was as thin as a rake, and uh, the King smelt of cheese, and the Queen smelt of custard. Uh, I, th I think the characters in your story are brilliant, Mickey John, but you haven't told me where they are, so I can't picture it. Well, I'm still working out who's in my story at the moment. All right, well, maybe I'll pop back later when you've thought about what actually happens in the story. Uh, well, actually, have you got any ideas to make the children want to listen to my story? I don't know. You need action, things to happen. I want to know where the characters live and work and get on with their lives. Work it out and I'll be back later to listen. Oh, my class will be back at any moment. Oh, gosh. Rudy's right. I've worked hard all morning to tell a story about a king and queen. And I know who's in the story, but I don't know what happens. I haven't got a story. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. The children helped dress up Claude as a queen because Granny Murray wanted to make up stories about kings and queens. I thought that was a great idea for my class too. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Rudy popped in to return a story tape he'd borrowed and he wanted to come back later and hear my king and queen story too. At nine o'clock, my class arrived and we drew pictures of the characters who were going to be in our made up story. At 12 o'clock, Raymond called by while he was waiting for Tina to give him a lift. He helped me scan the children's drawings into the computer, ready to be the story characters. At one o'clock, Rudy came back with a tape recorder to record my made-up story. He liked the characters, but he didn't understand what was happening. He wanted to know what the story was all about. Now remember, I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Of course, Granny Murray's right. What I need for my made-up story is a place to put all the children's exciting characters. I need a place that everyone can picture, especially if I take photos. And I think I know just the sort of place that a king and queen might live. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job, it's gonna finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Well, I don't know about you children, but I think I'm ready for the made up story. Me too. Hi, Rudy. Would you like to take your seat at my desk? OK, this is the story of King Peter and Queen Jasmine using your pictures and my castle. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen who lived in a big castle. In the castle, they had lots and lots of people to do everything for them. The trouble was, the king was a little dreamy. And whenever lunchtime came and the Queen sat down with all the princes and princesses and the footman carried in the gold plates of big potatoes and baked beans, the King was never there. He was always outside on the battlements, dreamily thinking about all sorts of other things. So the Queen had a problem. How could she let the King know that it was time for lunch? Well, the Queen called everyone together and she asked, How can we let my dear husband know that it's one o'clock? Everyone scratched their heads in puzzlement for a very long time until a little drummer boy piped up. I think what you should do is fire the cannon at one o'clock every day and then the king will know that it's lunchtime. The queen thought this was a brilliant idea and so every day the cannon was fired. And the king was never late for his lunch and the cannon has been fired at one o'clock every day since. Amazing. Wonderful story. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all in a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? I'm only kidding. They're right here. Who fancies a jam tart? <gasps> oh, they're delicious. We'll save one for Dad, Rebecca. <laughs> Mickey G, 
John. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, have you had a lovely time? You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, I'm a kettle. Oh, clever kettle. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying I like to be able to picture where things happen in stories. Save the day. Oh, fancy that. Come on, let's get you home. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, the children dressed Claude up as a queen because we wanted to make up king and queen stories today. We made my living room into a gorgeous palace. It was just the sort of palace that a real king and queen would like to live in. In fact, it was rather like the River Sea Fingal Castle. Then we had a delicious banquet with jelly. Later, I dressed up as the Queen of Hearts and we had jam tarts for tea. Do you like making up stories? Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's have fun. What's Granny Murray got on her shelves today? We're going to make rosettes and stick her rosettes on the umbrella to make it look cheery. Top. That's a girl. Stick the rosettes. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Rebecca <laughs> with Mickey John. Hello there! Mickey John! <laughs> Hello! Oh and Rebecca! Come a wee dream of a yourself! Oh, wow! I've never seen my old Broly look so amazing! Oh, they're out of the starting blocks early today, aren't they? <laughs> and speaking of starting blocks, I've organised a race in a park for the children this afternoon. Oh, thanks, Mickey John! What for? For giving me an idea for Claude's costume. What about we all dress Claude up in a racing outfit? And why don't we race over there? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think Claude can take part in the race? Well, he certainly looks the part, but he'd probably be better off watching the race with me from the top of the hill. Watching? You mean you're not racing? No, I'm commentating on the race for all the people who turn up to watch. Well, I hope you've got a loud voice, because that's a big hill. Yeah, well, I thought about that. I'm going to use a megaphone to make sure that everyone can hear what I say. <laughs> Listen. Get ready, get set, and they're off! <laughs> Streaming across the start line and running towards the hill. Oh, go racers! The race leader heads towards the top of the hill at double speed, turning around at the marker and heading back down towards the waiting finish line. But what's this? Moving through the field, it's Claude! Look at him go! Zigzagging through the racers and heading like a champion down towards the finish line. Oh, oh what exciting! Excitement! Oh, you'll make a great race organiser. Yeah, well, I better race off if I want to get to school on time. <laughs> oh, Claude! <laughs> oh, <laughs> very sporty, Claude. Oh yes, he'd certainly give you a run for your money, eh, Mickey John, and the sporty stakes. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> well done, you lot. Here we are. What's this for me? Oh, it's a special race organiser's rosette. Great. I'll certainly stand out in a crowd when I wear this. Oh, yes. Sometimes it's important to know who is who. Yes. Hi, Rebecca. Hey. Hi. Have a good time with Granny Murray. Come on, then. <laughs> now remember, sometimes it's important to know who's who. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. 
Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people! That's on his way to work today. Laughing this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you! You show me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? Ah, yes, time for a tie. All snazzy and ready to go. John. Hi Raymond. Just popped in to see if everything's ready for the big event. Oh yes, I think we can be guaranteed a fine day in the park. The park? But I thought the classroom would be big enough. I can't see many people coming to a hill race if we hold it in hill my... Hill race? No, I'm talking about the surprise play we're putting on for the children today. Oh, of course, your play. Yes, everything's ready for the play. I'm sure the children will love it. Great. You can relax then. Oh, well, I don't know about relax. You see, I'm commentating on the race as well. Listen. And there goes Teddy and his mate Tom as they run over the top of the hill! Was that too loud? No, no, perhaps not loud enough. I can show you how to project your voice if you'd like me to. Oh, no need to worry. I've got the perfect cure for that sort of thing right here. And here we are in the River Sea Bingo for the most exciting race I've ever seen! How's that? Perfect. Oops, time's moving on. I better go and get the props ready for my play. See you later, Mickey John. See you, Raymond. And here they come. Look at them running in. Neck and neck. It's a fight to the finish. To sit down on their necks. It's fantastic. First things first, the register. Now, where's that pen? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder how Rebecca's getting on at Granny Murray's. Have a lovely day. <laughs> right, now it's time for us to have fun. Who wants to go to the park? <laughs> me too. Come on, my lovelies. Now stay close to Granny Murray. Not that you'll miss me with my big flowery umbrella. <gasps> and I'm sure your dad will be easy to spot, Rebecca, with his lovely rosette you gave him. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> What are you doing in school, Daddy? Cameron? Here. Hannah? Here. Oh, Mickey John. Hi, Tina. I just wondered if I could leave this box of hats with you. It's, um, it's for the play that Raymond and I are performing for the children later. Yes, of course. What's the play going to be about, Tina? It's a fairy tale, Cinderella. Who does this one belong to? The giant that lives at the top of the beanstalk? <laughs> yes, there's no giants in Cinderella, Mickey John. This belongs to the handsome prince. Oh, hello, my good man. I'm handsome Prince Percy. Um, you, you should be able to know who everyone in the play is just by the hat they're wearing. That's great. So, this must be Cinderella. Has anyone seen my slipper? I'd stick to teaching if I were you, Mickey John. Yes, I think you're <laughs> probably right, Tina. Speaking of which, I better act like a teacher and get back to work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning 
learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. All on the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Lunch will be a little bit later today. The reason for this is that we are going to be entertained by Tina and Raymond's travelling theatre company. And as soon as the other actors arrive... Uh, uh, other actors? <laughs> there are no other actors in the play. <laughs> We're it. <laughs> But well, how can you play all the people in Cinderella? How will we know who's who? Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and enjoy with us the quickfire story of Cinderella. Oh dear, I'm Cinderella and I'm very upset because I'm sick of living with my nasty sisters. Eh, Cinders, polish this floor. Yes, Gertrude. Eh, Cinders, scrub my shoes. <laughs> yes, Greco. <laughs> Just the one letter for you oh. from Prince Charming. <laughs> ah, it's an invitation to a ball. I'll have that. Scrub the kitchen. We're going to the ball. Uh, bye. <laughs> I wish I was going to the ball and I could dance with Prince Charming. Spring. Dearest Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. You shall go to the ball. Oh, shall I? But what about my clothes? Spring. Very good, Mother. I just feel so beautiful. Be back by midnight. Oh, what a lovely ball. No, what a lovely handsome prince. May I have the pleasure? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Bong! Oh, midnight the magic will end. Bye, prince. Hey, you forgot your schlupper. <laughs> Whoever shall fetch the schlupper, I shall marry. Oh, <laughs> I think it'll fit my dainty wee toes. Oh, look, it fits perfectly charming, darling. <laughs> then we shall be married. And live, live happily, happily ever after. after. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Perfect timing. That's your one o'clock lunch call, class. No lunch for me. i got a race to organise. Hey, Mickey John, don't forget your... Megaphone. Thanks, Raymond. I'll definitely need that. And my rosette from Rebecca. I love to skip and never see things, never see things, so that's for me. Bing, bing, go, we come back again another day. What? <laughs> well done. Bing, bing, go, we come back again another day. What? Great fun. You know, Rebecca, your dad will soon let us run in the hill race, won't he? <laughs> Two o'clock, time for the race to begin. The runner should easily spot me with my race rosette. But oh dear, they might be able to spot me, but how am I going to spot them? And how will I tell which runner is which? They all look the same with their black shorts and white tops. Oh, I've been working hard all day to make sure this race is well organised. What have I done wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's. All the children were busy decorating Granny Murray's umbrella with colorful paper flowers. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work. Raymond popped in and gave me a hand with my diction in preparation for my commentary for the race. At nine o'clock, the school children arrived for their lesson. Tina popped in to leave the hats for the surprise play I'd asked her and Raymond to perform for the class. 12 o'clock, the play started. It told the story of Cinderella, and Tina and Raymond played the parts of all the different characters with the help of a pile of different hats. 
we broke for lunch at one o'clock and I raced to the park to organise everything for the Castle Park Hill race at two o'clock. But when I arrived, all the racers looked the same. Now remember, sometimes it's important to know who's who. I knew who was who in Cinderella because Tina and Raymond wore different hats. So if I want to know who's who in the race, they can all wear different hats. Attention everyone, the hill race will be delayed for a temporary hat break. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest way of friends, he will get there in the end. Because he knows what he should do, I'm working for it. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, I know! What a amazing place! There comes Jeff Hart on the left hand side, and there's no big coffee hat! He's caught up there! And it's Cowboy and Private Neck and Neck on the police side, it's a draw! Oh, fantastic draw! Well done, everyone! <laughs> see this one for Rachel and this one for Rebecca. <laughs> that looks just like your dad's rosette. Mickey John. Hi Granny Murray. Ha <laughs> <laughs> come away through. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? Yes. You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, my girl. Oh, clever girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying sometimes it's important to remember who's who. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hacking, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a runner, as it was a sporty sort of day. He decorated my old brolly with lovely paper flowers so that everyone could see where I was. Then we went to the botanical gardens where we played the rain, rain, go away game. <laughs> Later, everyone was awarded a winner's rosette for all the running they did. Mickey John's race was a great success too, because he realised how sometimes it is important to know who's who. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Bye.